Yeah, well, Deepin is uh, basically fundamentally, I think, one of the end goals for the blockchain. You know, if you have like devices and you can rent them out or you can rent those uh, sources or the power or whatever out, if you have like automatic processes all around the world connected to a blockchain, I think that's always been the, the end goal of blockchain uh, as, a, as a being. Um, Deepin is uh, one of my favorite narratives. I'm playing more, of course, but uh, Deepin is quite uh, easy to understand and quite easy to imagine in, in, um, in, in adoption, uh, especially with your product. Um, it's so easy to understand the need for this ID. It's basically solving a problem that we have with uh, expensive uh, devices everywhere around the world. Uh, for you and me, it's uh, it's a whole different story because we're living in uh, the West. But yeah, if you want to take the whole world community, then you see a lot of problems. You, you can't integrate them all in the same way that we are integrated uh, with our devices. Right. And Deepin is, in my opinion, the only way to move forward with blockchain without being used for only trading assets, you know? So I mean, you talked about the com commodities being something that's always, you know, it's always stable, yeah. always safe, always raising up. The next commodity that people talk about, yours has, has, has you know, I've had this conversation, <clears throat> have this conversation before, but the next commodity or one very in-demand commodity is GPU cycles. Yeah. There are only so many GPUs out there that are operating that can do things. And with AI having a massive GPU demand, that means buying GPU power or buying into, and of course games needed as well, buying GPU power or into that commodity is a smart yeah, GPU. Yum.